Good morning, I'm Sergio Medina. I'm the founder and CEO of RISE. So happy to be here. Just want to let you know we are a nonprofit and I'm a social worker. Those two pieces are really important. Um, oh, well, thank you. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we're going to start with our vision. What we want to do is build safe, healthy, and meaningful futures for unaccompanied, refugee, and immigrant children. Now, over the course of my career, I've introduced, I'm sorry, I've interviewed about 5,000 children all across the U.S. and across Africa. But I cannot sit here and tell you what was the trend uh, the services that they needed or the needs that I identified. So I, I designed something that's going to change that. And it's called Ciel. And Ciel, anyone know what that means in French? Sky. Absolutely. Light cloud. Okay, so uh, it's uh, essentially a humanitarian tool for workers to be able to conduct uh, their assessments um, electronically and push it to the cloud and folks can see what's happening, uh, whether you're in Johannesburg or in Geneva or New York City. Uh, that's where um, so you have a, a, there's a mobile app version, there's also a desktop version. Um, we also have an SMS version, but this is a sort of high level overview. So when this product is in the field, it's being used, what we want to do, we, we really do believe that it can reduce the time it takes to deliver humanitarian aid from two years to two months. Uh, and we have the backup um, uh, methodology on how we got there. Now, so you have the worker in the field, they're in a refugee camp, we're focused on our refugee children uh, to start out with your very basic, basic pared down system where you're collecting information on the kid. Then what you do is you move into an assessment uh, process and you're looking at these domains, and this is a proprietary um, uh, system that we designed. It's looking at their medical, legal, educational, tracing, shelter, psychosocial needs, um, um, aid and protection. And this is a mashup of essential, basically child welfare and UNDP uh, development goals. So once you assess someone on, the, on that need, there's three options. You identify the need as urgent, non-urgent, or routine. And when you, when you log that information, you hit transmit, something magical happens. What it does is you can then look at the whole scope of what's happening in the refugee crisis situation. You can see, um, say for, for teams, you can see which worker is using the, the technology in which location across the world. You can also then drill down on what the needs are. You can say, I want to know uh, for females uh, between the age of 14 and 17, how many of them are going to school? And that is, a, a, being able to obtain this information is something that just doesn't exist. You would, you would hope that it did, but it doesn't. So let's, let's make it exist. Let's do it. Um, impact, really important. What you can also do is drive metrics on what you want to record in the humanitarian uh, space. So say for example, you need to conduct, five. there's 500 Afghan children in Jakarta, true story, who are unaccompanied and uh, looking to be resettled in the U.S. You can create a goal uh, and as workers are interviewing these kids and logging that they're Afghani and they're in Jakarta, your progress towards the goal, as you can see it's 0% right now, until the system is used, you can see it change from 25% to goal or 50% to goal and it's automatic. The computer's smarter than well, computers are smart, so let's let them do the calculations. Let's let the workers do the work uh, in the field. So there's some other um, things that we're building out. One um, that I'll just highlight is a communications integration through an API with Slack. So workers anywhere in the world can post what the situation is in their uh, context, and there can be a, a just coordination, better coordination, also a supply chain um, uh, API. So this is our team. They're an amazing team. Michael Lauren is our, our co-founder. He's right here. Raise your hand. Okay. He's a social worker, too. Um, and so this is what we're doing. We're fundraising because we're a nonprofit. Uh, we do have a revenue model as well for, for software sales. We're also looking for corporate partners, all sorts of them. We can't do this alone, and we really would love just that partnership. It's really exciting. We're also looking for technologists to help us. Uh, you know, it's a lot of social workers on the team, but not a lot of technologists, but I think that Hey, you know, there's room for everyone, so let's pair up, uh, say hello after this, uh, if you have any ideas, and that is a wrap. And these are two kids that I interviewed and assessed their needs in the field, and um, there's, that's two of 5,000 that I've interviewed, and so I'm doing it for that.